This is a network from Malta, which we trust and we like. But today we got a new addition, the Route 10, a new router from Alta. Let's see what is included in the box. First of all, this beautiful router. We'll check it later. The power supply. A mounting bracket similar to what we have already seen in other Alta devices, which can be mounted like this. And some adapters based on your plugs. We will use the U-Type. Let's power on the device. And here it is side by side next to the 8 port switch. Similar LED at the top, 4 RJ45 ports, two of them are PoE capable, and two SFP Plus ports, one for LAN and one for WAN. And this material seems to be metal. And now let's make the correct connections for our network. We need to move this WAN cable to the first RJ45 port, which is the one port for the Alta Route 10. And then we need to connect one LAN port to our switch. And now our network configuration is ready. This is a complete network. But since we got two RJ45 ports, which are PoE capable, probably we can remove the switch and power on our two access points from the two PoE capable ports of the router 10. So in case you have only two PoE devices, then you can power everything through this router. In case you have more devices that needs PoE, then you can use one of the switches of Alta and cover all your needs. So this is what we will do. So let's bring back the 8 port PoE switch. This is the side by side comparison between the Route 10 and the 8 port PoE switch. And as you can see, the router is a little bit wider. But let's power on one addition device. This is the Alta control, a local controller. With this device, you can manage all of your Alta network devices without the usage of the cloud. Let's open this device. Similar on size to the other two. And let's power on this device. This is also a device that has a reset button. Here is a Type-C port for power on, but we will not use it since we we'll, would we'll power this on through PoE. Perfect. So we got a complete network. One to the router, two SFP ports here, here a network connection to the 8-port switch, and we power on the two access points and the local network controller. Now it's time to go to the cloud controller. And let's set up these three devices, which appear here. I will never stop being surprised of how fast this setup is. And here we got our three devices. Let's give it a name to be more clear. This is the Route 10, the AP6 Pro, and the AP6 Access Point. Let's go to the settings of the Route 10. And as you can see, here we got an overview of the ports. The first LAN and the second SFP Plus are the two WAN ports, and all the other ports are LAN ports. We see the temperature, some traffic stats, and some advanced settings.
under the auth, we can enable the built-in radius server and the VPN configuration. We will have a very detailed video for the VPN of Alta, WireGuard and IPsec. And just a spoiler alert, it is very nice and works very easy. So be aware that a dedicated video for the VPN connection will come soon. Here are the VLANs, which we can configure. Now let's go to settings, similar to what we have already seen for Alta. A new addition here, you can see the SSIDs only from the current site. The well-known settings under the system, users, filters, where you can block application or whole categories. The firewall which now we have the option to add some custom filters by just pressing the add button and configure the source, destination, protocols, zone in, zone out, interfaces and many other settings. Very nice and friendly user interface. Here are the port forwarding and the NAT configuration, source, destination, redirections, protocols as well, zone in, zone out. and the intrusion prevention, which we have the option to enable or disable intrusion detection and intrusion prevention system, settings for the notification level, high, medium, low, the same for the block level, also some settings for high, medium, low, and you can specify which VLANs you want to monitor, all or some specific. And finally, under the networks, we can see the VLANs, as appear here and of course you can add as many as you want by just pressing this add button you can configure the VLAN number let's put an example here VLAN ID 30 specify an IP range reserve some IPs configure the pool size select some specific DNS servers and that's it we got a new LAN. Let's give it a name. For example, this is going to be a VLAN for cameras. And here's the IP range. Now, if you want to use this specific VLAN, you can select an SSID, go under the password, and specify which VLAN will be allocated to the clients that will be connected to this SSID with this specific passcode. Also great flexibility here. And in case you want to do the same for a LAN port, you just need to select the LAN port and select the native VLAN and the allowed VLANs. Select like this and you're ready. very friendly user interface. Also under the network, you see that the VLAN we have already created and here is the IP range and all the devices that will be connected to this VLAN will get an IP address from this specific range. Now under the map, we got a very nice and visual representation of the connected devices. Also here are the frequencies that they are using. Some of them are 2.4 GHz, some of them are 5 GHz. And now our thoughts. As always, Alta has created a great device again. I have to admit that it's very difficult to find a router on this price range with all of these features. So if you are looking for a router on this price range with all of these features, you can consider that as a great option. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribe to our channel. See you on the next one.